The element that I researched on is chlorine. The symbol for my element is Cl, the atomic number is 17, and the atomic mass is 35. The amount of protons that my element has is 17, the amount of neutrons are 18, and for electrons is 17, the same amount that the protons have. The amount of energy levels that my element has are three energy levels, right here. In my element, there are seven valence electrons that my atom has that are outside of the orbital. The state of matter my atom is in is in the gas state of matter, and the group is in section 17 in the periodic table. Some physical properties of my element is that it's a dense gas, it has a charred smell of bleach, and its color is greenish yellow. Some chemical properties of my element is that chlorine can mix with nearly all elements, it's used as a bleaching agent with textile and paper industries, and it's used in the purification of water. Three isotopes that my element has are chlorine-35, that's half-life is stable, chlorine-36, that's half-life is 301 million years, and chlorine-38, that's half-life is 37.2 minutes. My element is used for sanitizing pools and washing clothes. This element, chlorine, is a halogon, and halogons are too reactive to be found in real life as stated in nature. Other interesting facts about my element, chlorine, is that chlorine was used for thousands of years, and it was used to produce safe drinking for people all around the world. The way that I constructed this model, the atom chlorine, is that I used small and large foam balls to represent the protons, the neutrons, and the electrons. I used Y to represent the energy levels that it has. I use uh, pieces of wood here, string here, and screws to hold up the model. I use a glue gun to put together the foam balls so they stay in place. I use toothpicks to put together the protons and the neutrons. I use water-based paint to specify the parts of the model. And I use glitter to show the energy that the energy levels have around here. What I thought was really interesting about my element is that chlorine is poisonous and if the gas is released it can irritate the person's respiratory system if the person by chance, you know, inhales it. So that's my chlorine atom project and thank you for hearing me. I'm doing my atom project and right now I'm sticking these um, the toothpicks to the atom, they're going to be atom balls. And I have to paint them to the a color that I want, and I'm choosing purple. And these are the kind I use, craft foam balls. And my sister's gonna help me um, paint them with her little brush. Okay, so one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We just need two, two more. Okay. Um, I'm putting my second coat on my add-ons project and my sister's helping me. And we have to put coats on this and then it looks, you know, like it's a solid color, like one solid color. So there's no white, um, what is it, uh, spots? I'm already done with the atom and protons ball for it, and now I have to make the wires, you know, the wire to put the... Electrons? Hmm? Electrons? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So how you did it? So... To put the, um, the balls in, I have to first loo you know, make a hole here so I can put it inside the wires. And I have to put it through the wires. So when we're doing the balls for the my project because it looks too big, okay? And the wire is really, you know, it's like it bends more. So then we got this new. 
it's weird name, galvanized wire, I don't know what that means, okay? But this is the kind of one and it works really good because in the other one it it went to one side and to the other and it didn't really stay in one place. But yeah, so we're gonna use that one and we're trying to do this quick. And they're gonna dry, but overnight. Okay, I'm going to try to redo the atom ball because this one seems really large and I don't really think, you know, I mean, I have to make three circles around so I don't think it's really going to look right. So that's why we're making it with this little small one. And I did a cross, well, with a toothpick so I can put one on each side. So let me get one. So basically, I have to put one on each side. Um, blue. And I'm gonna put it with the holes out of her mirror piece. I don't want to make it, you know, like look weird. You're gonna try to make a hole, a ball? Air. Okay. Purple. Okay, I'm gonna try to make a hole. And it doesn't matter what side it goes because this is supposed to be something that was made in Asia and it's not supposed to be like a pattern or anything. So. Gotta do another purple. And from here, I'm going to go on. Okay, so after I finished, so this is how it turned out. And I think I will keep it because comparing to this, this looks better. And I used glue to glue the little area so it doesn't, you know, separate. And yeah. And I'm going to let it sit overnight. And then hang it here. My chlorine atom is almost, my well my chlorine atom project is almost done. And we couldn't show you um, how we did it because, well, it took a long time. But we can tell you, I can show you the stuff that I use and I use the glue gun with glue and then I use this the um, string that was the one for my mom sewing kit here and we use it to hold up here and then after when we set everything in place then we got the glue gun and then we basically we glued everything here so then they'll stay stable like little tiny parts here yeah I'm almost done but then I'm gonna paint it as you see I'm now on my project and we painted um, the wood um, blue and we labeled them here the protons, the nucleus, the neutrons, energy levels, electrons and balance electrons and we put glitter here let me be I mean first we put one coat then we put two coats like more up to like five and I want to show you just like a little bit how I did it so you just get a little bit of, of this and then you smear here And then you do that all around there. Yeah, and basically we're almost like finishing up. So, and then we put black glitter here. So around where I put my name here to turn it in class. 
And I think it looks ready. I just need the presentation. That's it. But yeah, it's done.